Hi, so I want to talk about NP, which is what we define to be the set of all languages decided in non-deterministic polynomial time. That's what we defined it to be. But we also talked about these verifiers last time, which are these machines that will not only take an input W, but also a certificate, which is essentially like the proof or like some helper string to figure out whether that input W is in the language or not. So I'm going to call that language uh, NP star, and I claim that these two sets are the same. So that means that if I have a polynomial time non-deterministic machine, then I can construct a, a uh, equivalent uh, verifier for a particular language that I'm interested in, and vice versa. So we're, we're going to show that these two sets are the same. These sets of languages are the same. So NP equals NP star. So the try and tested way is to show that one is a subset of the other. So let's uh, do the first direction, which says that if I have a language that is uh, decided by a non-deterministic polytime machine, then I can make a verifier for the same language. So, uh, so the translation here, we're going to be given a polytime non-deterministic Turing machine. And what we want is to convert to a poly time verifier. So here, note that the verifier has to be deterministic. So the machine can be non-deterministic, but the verifier has to be deterministic. Well, remember that the verifier uh, has to be given two things, the input W and the, and the certificate. So here on input uh, W and C, so remember that W is the input to the, the, the non-deterministic Turing machine, and the C is the certificate. Let's actually give the non-deterministic Turing machine a name N. Let's call it N. So then the first step here is, well, well we got to make this machine that we're making right here deterministic. And we're supposing that the certificate's already made because it's being provided as input. So what we can do is let's just go through the certificate character by character and just simulate the non-deterministic machine by using the characters of C as the choices, the, the non-deterministic choices that are made along the way. So let's simulate this uh, machine N on W uh, picking the choices that are made based off of C, off the characters of, of C. So like the character C1, the first character of C, that could encode the, the actual first transition that is made, and then the second character is the second choice of transition that is made, etc. And then we, um, we just say, uh, if we land in the accept state, we should accept accept, otherwise reject. So we're not focused on making, like, um, figuring out what the choices are. We're already given the choices, so to speak. That's what the certificate is encoding. Um, the certificate could encode other things, but here we're purposely making it so that the certificate is encoding the actual transitions, choices that are made in the non-deterministic machine. So then now for the other direction, which says that NP star is a subset of NP. So the translation here is that we're given a polytime verifier. And what do we want out of this thing? Well, we want to actually get the, the, the non-deterministic Turing machine. So we uh, want a polytime non-deterministic machine, let's call it N. And actually let's call the verifier, let's say V for a verifier. Well, the thing is, uh, we want to produce this machine which doesn't have a certificate. It's only given a single input, no certificate. And the only thing that we have to figure out whether some that string is in the language that we're interested in, in or not is this verifier right here. So that means we've got to make a certificate. 
But that's okay, because we have a non-determinism uh, in our hands right here. So let's just guess the certificate uh, and just let the non-determinism actually make the certificate for us. We got to be a little bit careful because we got to make sure that the certificate size is um, at most a polynomial in the input size. But we can certainly do that. So on input uh, w in uh, let's say sigma star, although it doesn't really matter, then what we will do is uh, non-deterministically generate generate a certificate C of size uh, at most, I should say, the length of W uh, to the power K for some integer K. And we'll use the non-determinism to also stop us at a certain point. So it will be a polynomial. Um, and if it happens to not be a polynomial, well, this non-deterministic, uh, this verifier right here will not be able to read the whole certificate anyway. So it's not really an issue here. But let's just uh, enforce that the certificate is at most a polynomial in size. And then what we'll do is we'll say whatever the verifier says. So run the verifier V on the original input that we were given upstairs and that certificate that we just said C and uh, report the same answer. And it's pretty easy to verify for both of these that it runs in a polynomial amount of time because the C here is polynomial in the size of W. Um, and here we assert that the, pol the certificate size is polynomial. So uh, the whole, um, both of the machines that we made are polynomial time. And so therefore uh, we have proven what we wanted to do, which is that we have shown that the two different, different definitions of NP really are equivalent to each other. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave thoughts about the two different definitions of NP into the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.